Hello everybody, let's have a look at variables. Understanding variables is crucially important for a programmer. So who can remember, remember something like this? X is equal to Y plus 2. Oh, gems of mathematics. Who of you remembers it with a sigh. Okay, we're going to work with this in programming quite a bit. What was x and y? Let's ask that question first. So in mathematics you might be given something like x is equal to y, work, uh, y is equal to 8, work out x. And from that formula you can determine that x is 10, y, it's 8 plus 2 gives me 10 quite easily. Hey? So y and x are just placeholders. If I have another situation where y might be 22 then x will cal calculate to 24, 22 plus 2 obviously. Okay, so X and Y in mathematics are placeholders. They represent any number that you can use. We've got quite the same in programming. Except in programming, we're not going to use X and Y. We're going to use names like price, quantity. We can just use QTY for short. Maybe unit price. We can have a variable sales price. We can have any variable that we want to. So what happens in, in memory with the X and the Y? Sort of the same as what would happen to the following situation. If we were in mathematics, we want to say, I want to say store X and I want to store Y in a memory block. That is now represented with the um, drawer, the different drawers there in my cabinet. So if x, if y stores 8, then I save 8 in this drawer called y. And now when I use that in my formula, instead of the y, we can look up what is stored in the drawer called Y. Retrieve the 8 and my formula would be 8 plus 2 gives me 10. Or we can store 22 in the drawer. And then when we retrieve the value of Y for my formula Y plus 2, I retrieve 22 and calculate X as being 24. Now in much the same way, I can give names to the memory locations that I've got on the PC. So I can say that I want to, this doesn't want to work now, so let's just manually name things. I want to save quantity. I want to be able to save the unit price and I want to be able to save the sales price. Just need to type correctly there. Okay, I want to save those three things. So this would just be memory locations where I save the data. And if somebody tells me the quantity is 8, then I can manually put 8 in this drawer and I will do it much the same as what we do in mathematics by saying variable on the left hand side an assignment statement which you can thought of as an equal to for now and 8 so this really means take 8 put it in the drawer called quantity or I can have unit price equal to 155 so take 1.55 put it in the drawer called unit price 
and then later on when I've got my formula let's just say the sales price is the unit price times the quantity so I need to be able to see what is my formula then when I run this program the computer will retrieve the data stored in unit price which would be 155 it's going to multiply it with the quantity let's make it let's just make it 2 for simplicity because that is something I can easily go and calculate manually so if I now go and say okay 155 times 2 it gives me 3.10 quite easily and this 3.10 would be saved in the variable called sales price so I need many drawers in a program these are my memory locations on the PC for simplicity okay I'm going to store data in them I need to give them nice descriptive names and I am going to store data and retrieve data from them. In mathematics we call this X, Y, A and B, things like that. In programming we are always going to use very nice descriptive names. So quantity, unit price, sales price might be examples. We going to use one word only for a variable there are some rules we're going to look at that later for now one word per variable so that's why unit price doesn't have a space after unit or a space after sales price if I've got more than one word that combines to form a nice description because price alone doesn't tell me whether it's the unit price or the sales price so if I've got more than one word I'm just gonna leave out the space and I'm going to write it like that different languages computer languages have got different rules as to how variables must be named but this is the norm normally nice descriptive name one word and we combine words by capitalization there's a special term for that but we'll leave that for now and thank you.